It is given that there are three bookshelves, A, B, and C. The total price of the books kept in the bookshelves are, so if you write down total price, it is given as 900, 1000, and 1120. Next uh, bookshelf B has five more books than bookshelf A. So if we talk about number of books in each bookshelf, so if A has N bookshelves, then B has five more. And bookshelf C has five less bookshelves. So C again has N books. If the average cost price of a book kept in bookshelves A, B, and C are respectively. So if you talk about average price, it's given as A minus 14, A minus 19, and A minus 3. So we can say that average price of a book into number of books will result in total price. So using this from for bookshelf A, we can say that N into A minus 14 will be equal to 900. For bookshelf B, we can say that uh, n plus 5 into a minus 19 will be equal to 1000. And bookshelf C, we can say that n into a minus 3 is going to result in 1120. So we need to find out the value of a. So the easiest way to find out the value of a would be taking the first and the last equation and dividing because then n will cancel out. So bookshelf B is not important here. So if we divide, we will have n times n a minus three divided by n times a minus 14 will be equal to 1120 upon 900. So zero as in 10 gets canceled out. Half of that is going to be 56. Half of 90 is going to be 45 and n also gets cancelled out. If you cross multiply, we will have 45a minus 45 into 3, which is 135. This is equal to 56a minus 56 into 14. 56 into 14 can be treated as uh, 56 into 10 plus 56 into 4. So 560 plus 224. So that will be 784. So if we rearrange, we will have uh, 11a is equal to 784 minus 135, which is going to be 649, or we will have a is equal to 59. So C is the correct option.